Welcome to More BS. I'm Chef Babette. And I'm Shabnam. And today we are talking exactly about what you guys have been asking for. Yeah. Fitness and nutrition. Fitness. 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 <laughs> now, as a professor of kinesiology, we it's my job to know that physical activity is an important part of any lifestyle. Yes. But with that is proper nutrition. Oh my gosh. And uh, especially for the older ones of she us. She said, oh my gosh. It is so important. Important. <laughs> no, that was a bill. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. And I think you guys think that there's some sort of magic fix to this. I mean, the only magic fix this woman has had is a boob job. <laughs> Poof. But that's about it. What it's been is chronic <laughs> dosages. Yeah. Poof. 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 Anyway. Chronic dosages of <laughs> proper nutrition and chronic dosages of physical activity often throughout yes. the week yeah you have to do it it's just a part of the lifestyle you really and i don't care where you are people always ask the question is it too late for me no if this is your now then start nothing's too late nothing's too late nothing's too late now obviously if you've had some horrible injury that's uh, no fault of your own and and there's certain areas of the body that don't work like they do you can still heal from whatever. Take your time and focus on that area. Wouldn't you say, Doc? Absolutely. You know, um, plants heal, man. You guys they just do. don't get this. So, like, this is the one thing that wows me. Often when Babette comes to work out here, she comes with a, like, a, a green juice. Yeah, like a 32-ounce jar of... Of just pr pressed juice. Yes. Do you blend it or do no, you press I it? No, I actually separate the pulp from, oh, you do? from the juice. Oh, well, what do you um, do with the pulp? And the reason the reason that I, I separate the pulp, I juice instead of blending vegetables, which you can do either. But especially for those of us who have clogged, uh, uh, clogged uh, uh, colons um, because of our diets, um, you lose a lot of the nutrients during the digestive process. But if you're drinking your vegetables, that that those nutrients pretty much reach cellular level instantly. Immediately. And it's pre-digested for you. You don't have to go and separate the pulp from the juice. You don't have to go through any of that. So I like juicing because I know I'm getting the nutrients. And juicing keeps me from feeling hungry. And I, I, I truly believe the message to the brain, once you've gotten the nutrients, the message to the brain is, you're good. You're not hungry. So that's why I can make a handful of nuts a meal. That, 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 it's so I, serious. She just gave you gold, people. Yeah. She said she's satiated because of the nutrient density. Exactly. And that's true. Why do you think when you eat nutrient-dense, less calories, like... You're burgers, fries, you can eat so, so much. much and so so many quantities. And then you feel overtly Over, yeah, disgusting. Oh, disgusting. But you can eat a vast quantity of it. Or, you're, or you, eat, you eat your lunch and then immediately you're thinking about your dinner. Because <sighs> you're not feeding yourself. And so uh, proof, proof is in the pudding here. We went to Dr. Box, Baxter Montgomery's, uh, the Montgomery Health Heart and, Wellness. Heart and Wellness Center in Houston, Texas, where he... Heals. He's a cardiologist. He's healing patients mm -hmm. with cardiac, life vascular food. disease, and life food with raw living food. Yeah, that's it. That's part of the practice. Life and, begets life. Death begets death. And I'm telling you, I you, when I went there, I would load up my plate with all this food. I'm thinking like, oh my god, I can't wait to eat all this, and I eat a quarter Wait, of it because I got so full, yeah. so satiated because it was so nutrient dense that like, poof. I was just done. I was hungry again in a few hours, but thank God I had all that food. But, but it, it does change your mind about um, eating because what we do is like, just just think about, that's me thing. You're fine. Just think about Thanksgiving and what we do on Thanksgiving. Ugh. Oh my, that is one of the most disgusting days of the year in terms of humans and their eating habits. We eat some of everything in one sitting and we pile our plates and then we, we wind up with what black folks used to call itis after you get done with all What <laughs> is itis? <laughs> you got to let me know. I'm not black. You so know, you, gotta... be, you be like, you got the itis. You, be like, <laughs> you, you know, you just be like, whoo, 
<laughs> the itis. I got itis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that makes me so sad because Thanksgiving was always my favorite holiday, to, mm -hmm. you know, because I spent so much time with my mom in the kitchen. Family, we love yeah. to cook. But, like, I don't want to put my hand up a dead bird's ass, oh, honey. put bread up there, and then mm. eat it. Like, mm. you guys don't think about what you're eating. Just think about the days when we had to kill, when we actually had to clear out the intestines of a pig. You saw the poop coming out of the intestines of the pig, and then you went and boiled it and ate it anyway. Are those chitlins? Chitlins. Chitterlings. Don't try to say it proper. Chitlins. Chitlins. Doo doo flesh. That is some nasty That shit. is gross. Who told us to do that? Well, I, mean, I can understand it during slavery because they threw out the hall and t told the slaves to just hey, do whatever else you can do with this. And that's what we decided to do. We ate everything from the root. We ate his tail. We ate his... But you never we, wasted. We, his we didn't waste nothing. And but the point is, we ain't got to eat like that no more. You don't. And you don't have to raise it yourself and kill it yourself. You pay for other people to do your dirty oh, work and then you it. get sick. And but what about when the doctor tells you, you go to the doctor and they say, um, uh, you, your iron is low. Eat some liver. What is the function of a liver? What, now? What is the function of a liver? Not to eat it. What is the function of liver? It's some kind of uh, filtering mechanism, ain't it? Well, why do I want to eat a cow's liver? What is it filtering out? What, what, what? Why are you telling me to eat that when I could get the same iron in some spinach? Raw. I could juice. Come on. You're telling me to eat the liver of another species to get iron? Okay. I'm going to stop. There are more nutrient-dense sources without the cruelty uh, and, uh, and the impacts of inflammation. The thing that you have to remember is that even it may be iron nutrient-dense, what it's also dense with is heme iron. Heme iron is only located in animal-based protein. And as an essential dietary protein, what also comes with it is ex all these amines, nitrosamines that degrade the system. It's what we call free radicals. And free radicals act as, um, think of them as spiky little cells. And as they attach to other cells, they're going to damage and they're going to eat away at them. <laughs> so these heme iron can only come in animal proteins. And it will only be a precursor for diseases like type 2 diabetes, heart disease. And it's totally preventable. So you can eat two cups, two cups of broccoli and have the same equivalent of protein that you do in four ounces of meat, of chicken. You get all the fiber, you get all the iron and your entire system changes. And that's the thing that you realize is that your satiation, your satiety will change if you combine foods. And that's what you want to have. When you look at my Harvard's healthy eating plate, you're looking at a plate that has grains, vegetables, mm -hmm. protein, and fruit. And so what you'll notice is that the entire plate itself is absence of meat. It gives people the option of eating protein because we know that protein can come from legumes, beans, nuts, seeds. You can get them in variety quantities. Right. It doesn't have to be from meat. And what the evidence shows from Harvard Public Health is that they're saying that eating those foods is actually more detrimental to your system and your longevity than not eating those foods. Also, I would like to suggest um, to everyone, if you've already um, seen the Netflix documentary, What the Hell? Watch it again. Watch it again. Please. And watch also watch again. The Game Changers. Oh, that one's Because I think that's my too. favorite. I always give that as a homework assignment for all my students when we discuss nutrition. We do a week of nutrition, which I think is just adequately mm -hmm. not enough. Right. Um, but it's enough to incite them to think about their food system, where the food comes from, and what they're paying for the system to continue. Yeah. And I think when we talk about being a woke culture, mm. like being woke is being aware to the social injustices faced in our society. Right. And the social injustice faced in our society also come from our food system. You and you cannot differentiate from the two. They are all part of the same system. And, and, and in terms of um, adding our movement uh, alongside of our nourishment, 
How, wh what do you say for that? How, did, how does it help when it comes to working out and that's a great question. Yeah. Remember, we want to build more lean muscle mass because it allows for more cellular exchange. The more fat I don't have to move through, mm. the greater the relationship or communication system or organization mm. is between the cell and the endothelium. And remember, okay. the endothelium lining is the it's the pathway for cells to actually get into the muscle cell mm. or to flow from blood into the muscle mm -hmm. cell. And, and a really robust endothelium happens when you eat properly, Got it. have a lot less mm -hmm. fat, mm -hmm. a lot less animal fat right. in your system, and when you exercise often. Oh, okay. And cardiovascular training is a huge part, which is why we say sedentary, you know, exercising three days a week for minimally 30 minutes at a moderate intense activity. Mm -hmm. And so moderately intense is what we quantify as 40 to 55% of VO2 max. And a lot of you are like, what the hell is 40 to 55% of VO2 max? I would like to say it's like such a brisk walk that when I'm walking, I'm ah, yeah, so, yeah, okay, yeah. this is what I, that is moderate intensity. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're not going to faint, but you got to work to breathe what when I you talk. What I was going through when I went to uh, Kenneton Park. When you're going to, day. that is a perfect intensity, yeah. right? Yeah. And we're going to share that with you guys one day. We're going to go up to Kenneton Park. And we'd love you guys yeah. to come and join yeah. us. That, how many of you would like should, to? Do you know how many people said, why don't you get a group of us together and we all meet? At Kenneth Hunt. We should do that. We you know should really what? do that. How about this? If we can get up to 2,000 subscribers right here Whoa, on I love Vegan that. Porn Hub, we will host our very first outdoor workout place to be announced. There you go. But it will be in Los Angeles because we ain't flying anywhere. No. Uh, <laughs> I would love that. That would be but awesome. You got to like, subscribe, and comment yeah, below and them keep 2, us going. 000. And um, we would love to do that with you all. I know. It would be great. And you'd have a blast, trust. So I think you guys still want to hear. So she comes here with like this big ass 32 ounce of green juice. And I'm like, damn, what'd you have for breakfast? She's like, you're looking at it. Uh -huh. She's already been sipping on it. And then throughout her workout, she's continuously taking in this nutrient bolus. And that's the thing. The evidence shows that as you exercise, particularly as you're doing weight training, that to consume a two to one or technically a three to one ratio of carbohydrates to protein. Mm -hmm. The evidence says, have more carbs than protein because carbs mm. are the energy, energy currency of the cell. So if you don't have carbohydrates, you're really, you're not giving your car the gasoline it needs to run. Mm -hmm. And so three to one ratio. So Babette should come in with a, approximately 15 grams of carbs to a three gram of protein uh, comparative mm -hmm. value. Her drink has that in All there. Of it. She has more than 15 grams. She's probably got about like, 85 grams exactly. of carbohydrates oh my gosh. and about 15 grams of protein because it's so green and 50 grams of protein because what you're forgetting is that there is protein in every single fruit and vegetable yeah. you have been taught different because the usda is trying to make money off the meat and dairy industry and they ain't trying and there's a lot of research that is funded by these organizations mm. so you have to be really uh, concerned about what biases even specific scientists have, because if they are fans, if they are mm. consumers of meat and dairy, Forget of course it. they're going to be pro meat and dairy. You everybody's are lens, on, everybody's girl. lens is, is seen through it. that. So I think you need to be very conscious about what you're reading. Um, but so she comes with this huge drink, so she's getting her protein, she's getting her carbs, mm -hmm. and then she continues to have that after her workout. And then she also gets um, our favorite spot. You usually get some brown rice, some spicy eggplant okay, now, with some I, tofu. I love live food, but yeah. she just turned me on to this LA, LA vegan Thai. Vegan Thai. They got an eggplant dish over there. Oh my. And I get the yellow curry. It's tofu with potatoes. Oh my, but this eggplant. Comes curry. with a side salad Ooh. and these little fried wontons. Okay, stay away from the fried wontons, but if you want, but Only you gotta because live. of the gluten. Yeah. Only because of the gluten you with gotta the fried live. wonton. But uh, um, her husband, Baji, told me about them little wonton things. And I, I try to get at least two of them. I don't want my eyes to start tearing. But, because when she uh, does have excess gluten, she yeah, starts I, to I build start this inflammation. inflammation. So after that, then what do you eat when you go home? Normally, if, if I wind up getting that, then that's going to be my lunch. And then it's going to be my lunch for the next day. And I, I'm still like, I could eat on that for three days because I don't, 
I'm not into massive plates of food all at once. Well, let's say if you don't eat that, what's the rest of your day? Oh, so the rest of my day, I've got, you know, I'm going to have the fruit up in there. If I de decide I want a smoothie. But this is what I'm on right now. Oh, let me tell you. I take soap cashews along with a little coconut cream and a lot of garlic and some brags. I blend that up. And so I make this dressing for chopped red kale. You oh, chow. Wow. I'm gonna Girl, try, I'm gonna have to try that. You chop the red kale and then you put this garlic mix all over you can just Okay, so what is it again? Just, it's so it's uh soaked ca raw cashews. Like a cup? Yeah, well you can do it. Based a cup. on your yeah, own serving. Based okay. on how much you're gonna make. Okay. You can keep the dressing. And then you wanna take a garlic. I load it up with garlic. Mm -hmm. I make sure I use a little Bragg's liquid aminos, but Love whatever that. whatever your salt is. And um I think it's oh coconut cream. Coconut I love cream. The coconut okay. cream. And you blend it all up. And see, it's this it's these dressings that makes the salad so palatable, but what you don't realize but you know that four ingredient dressing is going no. to get then I take a little gold sea moss and put a heavy uh, spoonful of that gold sea moss in there and then then blend that up. Oh, okay, so I've never done sea moss, so I what? need you to tell me what Girl, is the benefit of sea moss. Sea moss is the lick. Sea, sea moss right now is going to give you so much of in terms of nutrients. But come on, I ain't no damn doctor, so don't make me. I don't know. I haven't done my then, research. Well, then check this out. Google <laughs> the benefits of sea moss. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. I, I just know what I need to do that's good for me. I don't remember all that stuff. Do you stuff. feel like it's changed your skin? Look at me. I am 72 years old. <laughs> oh, I keep saying, I, I've got at least 28 years <laughs> left. And and now I'm seven. I, look, I'll be 73 this year, so I'm going to be saying, I have at least 27 years left. <laughs> but when you get to be my age, you can count it down like that. There ain't yeah. a whole bunch of us live to be a hundred. So between now and a hundred, I gotta, I got stuff to do. I gotta, you know what I mean? I'm learning and I'm sharing and I'm feeling better than I've ever felt before emotionally and every every part, and every aspect. Kicking, and you're kicking up your fitness routine. So kicking up the fitness routine. So you're now training at least five days a week. This woman is. Crushing. But but I'm a human, like all of us. And so what I'm doing is proving that we can stop making excuses. Truly practicing self-love and self-care. You cannot love me if you don't love you. So don't lie and say you do. We so, but I love that you said self-love and self-care because <sighs> we were supposed to train the other day, but someone's needed self-love and self-care. Oh, let me tell you what I have going on right now. Oh, Can I please? I have had um, carpal tunnel surgery, trigger thumb surgery. I have had trigger finger surgery, carpal tunnel surgery. Now I have, I'm suffering with the effects of tennis elbow. So click, click, click. I actually hear and, that. You hear it? I do. And I'm dealing with carpal tunnel again so it's always feeling like somebody's pouring acid on it it's so, constantly tingling it's so but, weird <laughs> but the point the point is i love it so point is her shit hurts it, it's just yesterday i worked so hard on sunday at the restaurant because we've been so busy thank you so very much for supporting us thank you rich roll for the interview the business has really picked up um and I do all the food prep. So I, had to, I went worked from 3.30 in the morning. So y'all know I got up at 1.30. From 3.30 in the morning until 4.05 in the afternoon Sunday. But I was like this. And my hands are swollen and my arms are swollen and I'm clicking. And I, and then this has an evil click. If you can do the little, that, that, that one you're hearing. Oh but sometimes it, it gets hung up and you're like, it's oh, stuck. oh, this click. Oh, this click right here. Oh, well, this click gonna hurt. Oh, I know this click gonna hurt. <laughs> so you be like, when, when, which direction am I gonna click it in? Because this click right <laughs> Y'all, get ready. 72 is coming for you. And imagine, if your ass ain't vegan and exercising, oh, it's not just gonna be a click here. It's gonna be like, <laughs> y'all are gonna be fucked up. Ah! Fucked up. You did not say the F word. 
sir. I did. It's not for children. <laughs> If your children are watching this, no, you but, are fucked up. No, but she is, not, she is not kidding. The big click, that's when you'd be like, oh! <laughs> that so, was the big click. So point of the story being, point of the rest story. and recovery is yeah. such a huge part. So I didn't do anything yesterday. She did nothing, but at least now she's here with not as much pain. Literally, she said, don't do anything. So I didn't. Yeah. And that's what you do. So, I didn't have no pain on my face yesterday. As a matter of fact, somebody called me and I answered the phone looking like I knew <laughs> I, <was. laughs> I saw you send me a video of you in bed yesterday. And I was like, who is what? this only ass <laughs> woman? Who? What, what happened to my back? I was like, and let me tell you. <laughs> Get all wrapped up. Right. Oh, uh, grumpy in no. bed. And, and it was dark. It was. It was great. <laughs> uh, but I think that wraps up this episode of More BS. <laughs> I hope you got some tidbits on how to stay healthy and fit throughout the ages. Stay active. Eat well. Eat nutrient-dense foods. And, and stop, get your ass up. Yeah, and stop worrying about where you're getting fucking protein. Yeah, eat some please. vegetables. Eat some veggies. All right. Love y'all. See you guys. Bye.